Hi friends, welcome to testing to Terra's point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to configure SQL into Cypress. Okay, in the previous video we saw about how to install our Cypress and also how to install MySQL into your local system and how to configure those things we, we saw about it, right? Then our next step is to configure into mysql into cypress okay this is a more crucial one you have to be patient okay what are the things we need to do it before that okay first we need to install for mysql into here okay for this we need to use it okay already i hope it we are already installed here 2.18.1 we are already installed but we are not configured right then how to configure means just you can click it for configuration here in this configuration once you click the configuration we need to set up few couple of things where are you ah, here okay this is the package you have to configure the package first in the top you need to con uh, make it for constant mysql under require mysql you have to do it okay once you've done that one and just in here, you have to copy into this particular path. I'll show you here. Okay. No need to bother about it. Yeah. You can see task is presented on task and DB query, like query and returning for this particular DB. Okay. What exactly it will do it. And here we can able to see there is a couple of code this code is main requirement okay there is a main db connections in the last you have to make it in the last okay complete last of that pasted this code okay and i'm pasting here but you need to type it uh, entire code this entire code you have to type one by one okay function db uh, sorry query test db so okay this db you can able to see here this is the name this particular name will return for one is query and another one is configuration. Okay, we are making it for the same values to here it is returning. Okay, here is constant connection and equal to MySQL. Okay, which is MySQL we are returning for creating for the con uh, connection, which is con config. Inside the config, there is an environment and DB. We are not seeing environment and DB here. Correct. You can see. Uh, those things we have to make it and here I'm going to copying here up to here uh, one and two okay one and two correct and this is the query location okay just enter and paste it okay you can paste it this DB uh, environment tag environment open the brace and DB open and again and here you need to mention for server and these two values and this is a root mysql and my this db1 okay once you've done this one everything it will take the configuration environment db that is called these two environment and db and db values what are the db connection values are there right it will take from there okay then make it for connection dot connect okay once you've done this one and returning for new permission that is resolve and reject and the connection dot query and the query error results this function make it for to make that anything wrong it will make for rejection set in case if there is no uh, errors and anything and then it will go for connection closing place and it will make the results and it will give the result okay which is the result we have trying right those result okay then after that there is a couple of values are presented where it is yeah these are the two configs okay these are the two configs you have to set up into your local open your uh, mysql server 
okay in the mysql server you have to open here okay just paste it this particular command okay and here root is your database name okay local host is your server name okay identity with your sql server and here is the password the password which you set up while you are connecting for mysql that is the password you have to provide here okay then execute it once you execute it it will allow you that user into uniquely okay once you've done that one and you have to run this particular last command and here you have to paste it here and just select this one and run it this one it will give you for entire parallelization accessing for this user the root which is a password is make it for this particular url right this you to uh, it will take for that username and password whenever you using this username and password please allow you to access that uh, server okay that is a command it is giving okay once you've done this one then come to here and go to e to e and create one file as a my db test dot cy dot js okay once you're done and just you can make it for this particular code here here we are creating for cypress one describe is basically a suit and it is basically test case and cy dot uh, task and here this is the db query and if you go for configuration location this is a query db is there right that is the one we are uh, referring here once you make it for reference of this one whenever it hits this one first it will check to go to in the configuration and here and it will check the query and configuration okay then what will happen it will comes to here and it will check the configuration environment and it will go for the connection if everything is perfect there is no issue the query will go and execute and it will give the result to the user okay then uh, the result we are storing into in this particular location then result this is a function okay this function we are storing into a rec value that rec value objects we are going to one by one reading okay that is a one case here okay just i'm going to saving this one okay this easy code i'm going to show you now don't bother about that how exactly like complex things also it is very easy to do it and now i'm going to npx cypress open now e to e and start once you start you can see here it is the function just click it and it will collect for uh, if it is something wrong then it will give you some functionality issues okay fail to with the following query error the task event has not been registered in the setup node events method you must reject uh, before the task location okay we have already registered all the things but still it is showing this is the command we made it not selected ah sorry i changed the value but i'm not saved it that's why it is showing that error i saved it and it is reflected already the value okay if you go to dbware and execute that command this command it will show you for that is a one user student having for one id and the name it is presented this is a table we are created in the okay sample one i created and the next video session how to create by using uh, cypress to create one database or one table into the database and how to insert the value into that particular table 
okay how to get the values to your local okay this is the one we are going to verify in the next video sessions okay i'm going to very like small examples i'm going to show you not a complex examples okay in case if you are facing something issue make it for like in the comment session okay don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and also sharing to the, your friends and colleagues okay and also the main important don't stop for learning thank you